As 2012 winds to a close, our staff has been reflecting on some of the awesome people we've been able to meet and the inspiring stories we've had the opportunity to share this year. So today we're going to take a look back at some of these stories. First on our list is a mother-daughter duo whose story illustrates the true meaning of charity. They're a pair of angels and best buddies, and this is the story of Elsha and Shanna Stockseth and how each day is another loving chapter of Enduring Well. Inspiring words from rock star Bono, who motivated Elsha to do great things despite her physical limitations. I did it for my friends. The other day, it's like telling that I give them God, and then like what you do with them is how you pay them back. And she's trying her hardest, helping children in Africa through her artistic talents. Even though Elsha suffers from muscular dystrophy and only weighs 40 pounds, she's done beautiful work, despite doctors telling her parents long ago that she only deserved five good years to live. And I thought that was really cruel because she deserves just what we deserve. But Elsha proved the doctors wrong and went on to be her high school's sterling scholar in art. And I just burst into tears because <laughs> You know, people are like, she did this art, and I said, yeah, she does it laying on her side. Her mom even went to school with Elsha every day for years to be her hands and feet. It was so fun, and the kids at school loved her to death. She went to all the dances and all the football games, and she was a queen for one of the dances at one point, too. And Life isn't easy, and Elsha now has to use a head mouse to text, email, and do her art. The camera that sits on her laptop controls the cursor using a reflective dot on her headband. I think it gives her, like, hope, you know, because there's so many things she can't do. But she always said, I can do anything you can do. I just need your help. Elsha creates, then sells beautiful Christmas cards she's designed. Belgium, Australia. Croatia and she's got all these friends on Facebook and they say when's your new card coming out and the proceeds go to buy clothing and supplies for needy children in Africa and she's helped me to understand what it means to love and have charity and think of other people she never thinks of herself never I say well I don't really need the money and so she doesn't have a lot of stuff and I want to do something for someone else just like her mentor Bono, who gave her his glasses and met with her several times. She's basically dedicated her whole bedroom to his band. But it's her saintly mother who's really making the difference in her everyday life. I'd be like in trouble without her because I don't trust anybody else. I don't, I don't like people to do stuff for me, so I, I wouldn't be here so. without her. We're just together all the time. I have to feed her. She has to sit on my lap to eat. But that's okay. I've always just said, you know, what would Jesus do? So this is what I have to do. Because that's, they are sitting here to be, not for her to be tested, but for us. Some days she'll be able to walk. And someday, when we're up in heaven, I'll know what I did was the right thing. has had another busy and successful holiday season selling her cards to benefit needy children in Africa. And she also has her own Facebook page. We will link you in if you go to our website at mormontimestv.ksl.com.